Okay, so we've got the meeting recording. Uh, still letting people into the room. Uh, what I am going to do, well, welcome back to our first uh, full week, I guess. Uh, hopefully your weekend went well. What I'm going to do with the Zoom meetings is I'll put a passcode uh, and we'll make it something simple like LC. I'll show you uh, what I've got set up. So then we don't have to do the waiting room. Um, the main thing is, is we, you know, we don't want any Zoom crashers. A um, couple things I want to update you on as far as uh, Canvas. Let me share my screen. There we go. Um, so you should see uh, my view of Canvas now. And I thank you all for coming. It's uh, great to have about 85 of you showing up. That's great. Um, here's our waiting room. Okay, those are joining. So uh, what I've got set up, I put at the top uh, Zoom class and tutoring links. So one of the first, I think, big announcements is uh, Akash has uh, given me his office hours, so he will be available to you through Zoom Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11.30 to 1.30 p.m., and on Sunday from 12 to 1. Is that right? Uh, 12 to 2. See? You got to keep on top of me. I tend to make some simple mistakes. I knew it was longer than that. So 10 to 2 on Sunday. Um, Let's change that right here. Okay, there we go. So 10 to 2. Uh, and the link is right here, IA Office Hours. That'll be the Zoom link to his uh, the meeting room I set up for him. And I have put a passcode for him of Akash. So you have to know his name to be able to get into the meeting. And basically, I will do the same thing. 12 to 2, did I? Yeah. So Sunday, 12 to 2 um, is what I've got. So, and then I've got my times. I, I didn't get the um, link set up, but I'll have the links in here. And then I'm going to also put in a passcode and we'll just make it LC. Um, make it nice and easy, but you know, hackers are less likely to get it. We don't have to make it too complicated. I think if we have a problem, we'll, we'll deal with it, but um, then it'll be easier for you all to join. You'll be right in there. Okay. Any questions on that part? All good. All right. Um, so we can go back home screen so those are your zoom links then um the start here we'll get into that but uh, the other new part sort of new part is the new learning materials so when i first posted the video i put just this link here however i forgot to click on the the little button here so it wasn't uh it wasn't published for a while and a lot of you caught me on that so that's good so um and then yes, the password will stay the same. We'll just keep it the same unless we have problems if we, and, and hopefully we don't, um, but the goal is that the password always be the same. So if you know our names, you'll be able to get into our meetings. So just at least, uh, you know, LC for me and Akash for our IA. And then they should stay the same all the way through the semester. Uh, so, what I like to do, though, is, is I started this page for the chapter 10, and this one is, a, and I, you open it up, a new page. Uh, so the, the, there's an icon of the video, and you can actually watch the videos in here if you want, or you can, um, you can click once you've got it going and go to YouTube and make it full screen if you want. What I'll do is today's video, which I am recording, thank you, I forgot, um, 
I am recording it, I will put it here. Uh, and again, I've got back-to-back -back classes, so it takes a little bit of processing time. So I'll get it up as soon as I can, but it might not be until the evening. So if you miss a class, at least you can pick up from here. As you're gonna see, um, what we do in class is really, uh, the goal. what I've got as a goal is that the, the video should be the whole, um, for the most part, the whole lecture or instructional part. And then that gives us all of class time to work through problems that you may have. And there's 10 problems and most, most of the homework problems are about 10 problems. So we can um, look at some of those examples. Okay, so that's kind of where you will find um, the videos as they post. And then when we get to chapter 11, I'll make a new page and we'll have all the stuff for chapter 11. We'll do a, um, an exam review as we get closer as well. And um, I will start using uh, both calculate the uh, Casio as well as the um, TI 84, 83 comp uh, calculators. So you, you see how to use those. Um, and if you have a, any special requests, just either email them to me, send them to me, and we can get that done. So we have in WebAssign, there's 95, let's see, WebAssign. We have 95 students registered. So I, I did get a message from a few that there was, that they had some difficulty uh, in registering. Um, Personally, I haven't gone through the process because they just gave me an account and I, I signed things up. So would anyone, um, did anyone else either have problems and work through it or what is the process for purchasing access? Could, would anybody be willing to share their experience? Was it, um, once you go to the link, what happens? Yeah, so I have the, um, the class key code. Okay. Um, and when I go to like Cengage and WebAssign, it still wants me to purchase it. So I'm not too sure where I type it in because I already bought like the hardcover book for it. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, it's separate. You the, the access to the online course is, oh, but your book has an access code, right? Yeah, I just uh, don't know where to go to actually type it in without buying it again. Let's see if we can uh, see my screen is still showing. Yep. Okay. I actually figured out how to put it in. You did? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if, um, let me get to the place. And um, so instead of signing in, let me do enter the class key. So that's what you would do, right? You would enter your class key here. Yeah. So you have to have like the course registered in order to put in the access code. Okay, so this I believe is our, our course. So I go to enroll and it's been recognized. And then you just say, yes, this is my class. Okay. So do we type in the class key there? That's on the- uh, Yeah, yeah. The, the one from the, the syllabus, you type it in there. And then on the purchase page, they should give you an option to, um, well, here it's going to give me a sign in. So, the, but they should, when they give you the purchase option, they should give you an option to actually type in the um, code from the textbook that you have, because it should have included a, usually the hard book also includes a access code to the web assign. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. And, um, and, and the place where you enter the credit card to buy it, we, there'll be a link there for you to enter the access code from the textbook. Okay. Cool. That actually didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. What worked? So when I tried to like go into like the book or whatever and say like I was gonna buy it and use the access code, it wouldn't let me. I had to go through like saying like your course and then there's like a little button somewhere on your courses page that says like enter access code and then it'll work. Okay. So, because you had actually already, you purchased, uh, if I was right, you purchased, did you purchase a Cengage anywhere or anytime or, or forever? I've never purchased one. Um, oh. I just bought the hardcover and then I went into your class and it let me have the online thing for free. Okay. Okay. But you went in through your account and you had to set it up that way. 
Okay, so good. You, uh, does it seem like it'll work? Anyway, we'll uh, hopefully we'll get you through because there's all these various ways. Uh, you definitely don't want to have to pay for a book and then pay for course access. Okay, good. Okay. But it will ask for your access code in two weeks. Oh, a two week free trial. Excellent. I didn't realize that. So some of them do that. So you have a two. Um, yeah, as long as you get the, um, as long, you don't really need the hard book because actually there is an ebook in here. Uh, the hard book is if, you know, if you like turning, the, the feel of turning pages, which it's a it is a different experience. And, um, and also you're not reading off a screen. Um, I've got friends who just don't like eBooks cause they don't like reading off a screen. So if you, if you like a printed book, you can have it. Otherwise, again, it's all here. Um, and I even incorporate some of the stuff from here into the lecture part. Okay. And then again, you can just start working on the homework. Uh, what I've got is I can actually pull it up here. We can take a look at it. Now, I don't have any hard and fast rules, but um, as we work through problems, um, my goal is that you've watched the video, the, the lecture video, and maybe take some notes so you understand. You try the homework, and then you ask questions on something that you didn't really understand and we can focus on particular parts of it. Um, but it's, my goal is not necessarily is to come here and work through all of them. Um, hopefully we don't, but if you got stuck on any ones of them, that's the ones to start asking about. Okay. And uh, because some, and usually what it is is the, the first ones are pretty much application. Those are kind of good ones to go over. Um, and they are usually different enough, like this one is, uh, the red parts are where it changes. So um, we can go through them. And then usually the last one to two or three problems are application problems that are a little bit more in depth. And I'm perfectly happy to go over them. But again, for your benefit, once you see the answers, it, it may seem so simple to get there but sometimes it's that process of, of trying to work through it at least on your own um, that makes it work. Okay. Oh, how many attempts do you get on the assignment? Yeah, I, if the syllabus said five, I think it's five. And I, I remember, so each homework, you can enter an answer up to five times. If it locks you out, I, you know, it, what the goal is is that it doesn't, um, that you're not just guessing and checking all the time. But there are some times where the rounding's a big issue and such. So those are good ones to ask in class, especially when we get into the stuff with logarithms. I remember sometimes they want it as an exact answer rather than as an approximate decimal answer. So sometimes that's an issue. And then sometimes there's a bit of a rounding issue where you've actually got a correct answer, but maybe they wanted five decimal places and you're putting in four or something like that. Okay, so now it's time for questions. What would you like to see? And again, that's is, is the flip version is, is I've kind of had my say in the video, and now I need your feedback on what you're understanding, uh, what you're not understanding, what you'd like to see. Um, Hi, Professor. Hello, how's it going? It's good, how about you? doing well yeah i want to know do we have attendance in this class very good um i don't keep track of attendance i'll put it that way i'm i'm it's not something i want to do what i want to do is i want you to keep track of your learning so as long as you're learning it's going to be fine and if it's if you're not learning then you're going to have more that you have to do later so yeah, it's if you come to these, it's for your benefit. If you're bored with these, if say you've got the, the homework already done, um, you don't have to be here. Okay, it's not going, I'm not going to keep track of it. Um, 
Yeah, you can push purchase the book later. The due dates are not till this Sunday. Uh, so Sunday, April, uh, August 30th um, is when the first assignments are due. And again, if, if we need to push it off a bit, we can do that. So, um, but you can actually go ahead and sign up for, uh, there was a question about uh, getting, you can sign up for the access, start using it, and then you have two weeks to buy it. You can buy it later, okay? Appreciate Okay, and then yeah, attendance, you know, half of you want to head out right now, that's fine. It's, uh, but be here and we'll see how it looks. And if, and spring semester when I did this, I had about a third of the students would attend regularly, two thirds would watch the video, work through things, ask questions through the discussion forum. Uh, in, in fact, in Canvas, there, there'll be a discussion forum. So let me, uh, before these disappear, so we have a question on 6E and F, 6E and F, and 10 point, let's see, what's 10.1 to 10.3? Um, oh yeah, then Sunday, 10.1 to 10, the first three sections um, is how they've got it set up. So they'll do weekly due dates. So you, whatever we cover during a week is due on the Sunday. I like that a lot better. Um, the prior coordinator set it up with sort of um, a day after the lecture, everything was due. So, but I did change that. Okay, so let's first go ahead and start looking at the first question here. Okay, so this is a long question. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this thing. There we go. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do that in a Word document because in a Word document I can um, I can write. Okay, yeah, I understand. Yeah, if you, um, if you took it last semester, would uh, try giving Cengage a call through their, their number and see if they can extend it because you bought it last semester and sit, tell them that you didn't finish. They're supposed to, it, they may, uh, they may allow you to renew it, okay? The rest of the videos, um, I am uh, on a day-by-day -day basis at this point. Now, once I get to like, I think it's chapter 12 or 13, I, ha I have videos from there from last semester, but the ones, there are ones that are pre-made. Um, I can show you those, I can place those in there, but the ones that I'm making, um, I'm making them as I go. So they, they will get posted. Um, so like the one for, there we go, it's a little slow. Uh, the one that, the one for tomorrow or for Wednesday's class, uh, I'll be making it um, Tuesday morning uh, because I am in class from here until uh, a little break in the afternoon, but uh, until seven o'clock tonight, okay. So then, let's see. I can get, and you wanted E and F. So we wanna find the function value at zero and we wanna find out what happens as X goes to negative infinity, okay. Bring that over here. Okay, so the the <laughs> let's 
So the E question was, what is F of zero? And that's, is that E and F, right? So who, let's see, who asked this? Is that correct, Danielle? So for this one, it wants to notice there is no limit here. So for this one, it is asking what is the function value at zero? So we come to the x value of zero, which is, is actually the y-axis. And we go, now if we go down, we've got an open circle, so it's not negative two. We go up, we've got a solid circle, so it is four. Now before this, they would have asked, uh, they were asking, uh, about limits going to zero from either the left or the right. Okay, so if you looked at the previous one, B, C, and D, those were limits. When we get to E, um, in fact, let Can me see. You can't see the question. Do you see the um, the graph? No. Currently, we, we only see webassign.net. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me reach this. There's something in the way I'm sharing. I thought I was just sharing the, here we go. Probably because I changed screens. How's that? Is that better? Do you see my, uh, do, do you see the graph now? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, the question before here was asking about what's the limit as x goes to zero of f of x. And of course, the answer to that is uh, the left limit is actually negative two, the right limit is four. And since the two limits are not equal, the limit itself just going to zero does not exist. Okay, so if you caught that part. When we get to the E question, the E is not asking about the limit, it's asking what is the function value. So that's more of an algebra question. And that's just there, since there's a solid dot here, the answer is the actual function value is four. Okay, and then does that help with the E part? I guess. Sometimes it's hard when we just jump in if it, if you didn't see that. But that that the other ones, uh, the limit as x goes to zero from the left, they got this little negative. That would be equal to negative two, and the limit as x goes to zero from the right, that would be equal to four. The limit itself, the limit itself, the limit itself, the limit itself, the limit itself it does not exist. You started to get really static. -y. Okay. That's why I record. It's it's it funny. Let me just reload. Close down. Okay. How about now? Can you do that? No. Okay. Let's see. Just a moment. <laughs> I'm not on. I'm not going to force myself to have a message. I'm not going to take out the word this morning. 